I feel like the stuff that I accomplished was like great, but where I'm trying to go and what I'm trying to do is 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 way bigger than that. Not to not to discredit my my path. Mm -hmm. I just feel like like even on this creative side with, with with film and and how I'm able to like just the creative part. I don't want to give away too much, go but ahead, but I'm I just feel like my prime not here yet because I'm right. I'm, I'm finna tear their ass up. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, man. What does that fan base, your fan base, mean to Chris Brown? Shit, the only reason you're talking to me is because of my fan base. I mean, mm, nobody would really, nobody would care. It's if it not was really just, about your fan base. It's about nah. my YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, okay, well that's cool. Yeah, but YouTube and, sure. and this, the ra the radio. You know what I'm saying? The the radio station. But well, can no, I post but, it on mine too, so we get the same views? <laughs> yeah. I, need to, yeah, I wish you would. Hell yeah. I need money. Yeah, let's go. But no, what? Uh, all jokes aside, that yeah. fan base, man, has been there with you. Like in life, man. In life, yeah. we have. We, we we roller coasters, bro. We're, yeah. we're we're strong. We're contradicted. We're vulnerable, and they've been there for you. Yeah. What does that mean to you? It means the world to me. I think I think uh, I think my fans would like like me to do interviews a lot more. And don't. I think they would like me to do a lot of other stuff that I don't do. No, no need to. But I, I but I feel like, and I can tell that my I can tell my fans this now. Like the reason for that, and I'm sorry, you guys, but like, I want y'all to remember why y'all lo love me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the, this music and why. I create and the songs that we do and the, the videos, the magic that I'm trying to bring that back. I feel like if you t if I talk about what I ate in this morning or, hey, I'm driving in this car, it, it's not going to be, it's not cohesive. It's not going to be healthy. So the music that I create is, is the food that I want to, you know, surplus the world with. And the music that you do create, man, and, and we kind of got on this, but you your biggest critic. Yeah. Like, and, and you, I, I wonder when do you know to let it go. Like, if there's an album breezy, uh -huh. is it and is it somebody around you like, bro, we got the album, man. Like, we good. Yeah, but I, I feel like even even with this album and the last album, like, we recorded songs maybe three, four days ago and like, hold on, put the mix on it. Mm. So right down to the, the to the deadline, we, we're still, it's up in the air. So we'll, I gauge it by doing like, you know, parties might go to a, a outing and I'm like, I had a DJ play the song. I just did it uh, Wednesday for this record me and Bryson Tiller got. Oh. It was hard, but uh, but is there was, that on breezy as well? Yeah, definitely. But it was, but it, the response was great. They they were dancing like they knew the song already. So I was like, all right. So with me, that's that's pretty much what I try to do. I try to gauge it and just make sure the, the audience gets they they full Chris Brown. You know, the the the, the musical side. Yeah. Aside from you having breezy the album and the features that you have, mm -hmm. you featured on probably what over a hundred songs, easy. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, and. How do you remember every song that you've been on, if you remember it? Okay, cool. Because I got two answers for that. Okay. Now, it, it might be my first album or something, and we might do like a throwback part on stage and then be a song. Not the songs that were singles, just songs that, that I might haven't heard in a little while. So, and I might forget it. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> and I just put the microphone out yeah. there and let them sing it. I'm like, oh, Thrust right, but, a little hard. But, little. but as far as features, Every feature because it's like I'm very like uh, photographic and with my memory and stuff. So with certain features and songs, it'll it'll be like a memory bank. As soon as I see it, boom! Oh, this time we did boom, 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 and then the song, and then I just already know it. So that's how I kind of do with the features. I really don't kind of mess up on them. For one of them ones, the tour. Mm -hmm. Do you have to go back and listen to Chris Brown? No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, I would say go back and listen to me anyway. But right, at the right. same time. With this tour, why we called it one of the ones because this is, this is. Like, I'm talking about. Do you have to go back? Oh no no no. You, no, you know no, what I'm saying? Like no, okay, no, I, don't, well, I don't remember we, this. We got to go back in the rehearsal so we right, can make right, sure. Right. Yeah, for sure. But the thing I'm about to do with the crowd, like I got something special for the crowd. So and, it's, and nobody really did this before. So I can't. I can't wait. Is, is this more of outdoing yourself? Shit, I'm trying to. I'm yeah. just trying to. I'm just trying to not even outdo myself. I mean, I feel like the stuff that I accomplished was like great, but. Where I'm trying to go and what I'm trying to do is 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 way bigger than that. Not just not to discredit my my path. Mm -hmm. I just feel like like even on this creative side with, with with film and and how I'm able to like just the creative part. I don't want to give away too much, go but ahead, but I'm I just feel like my prime not here yet because I'm right. I'm, I'm finna tear their ass up. Hey Amen. <laughs> you know, like like sometimes you know what the album is. Yes. We, at the moment while we're sitting <clears throat> here, we're anticipating the album. Mm -hmm. Can you not wait for us to hear it? Like man, I know. Yeah, when, I'm when nervous. They hear it's this. like it's like first day of school when you lay your outfit out and look at it about a hundred times. Right, 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 Ooh, right. Okay. But then what hard. they gonna think about it? Yeah. So I think 
Yeah, I'm nervous at all times. Mm -hmm. I'm nervous. So even with the mixing, I'll go listen to the song and I'm like, dang, the music wasn't loud enough in that part. I want them to feel it. So then I'll hit my engineer like, yo, just bring that the saxophone up or bring this up. So it's always my nerves. I get nervous mm -hmm. for for all of this because it's exciting to me. You do know, you still, read still like when an album come out? Do you read? social media do you read you know now that it, it's no longer just critics writing but do you read any of that um if it ain't something positive i'm gonna be real no right like because i'm because i'm gonna have to act, i'm gonna probably ask my people like hey send me the articles or what, whatever on the on whatever it is i don't need to see the negative shit because right. because it's not gonna stop or, or or halt up anything i'm doing anyway so it's only gonna confuse my mind to, to having a bias man nobody likes me yeah fuck all that i'm 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 here to do it <laughs> how, does that, how, how does that happen, bro, where where you, you kind of know how to, you know, tone out all the outside, you know, chatter that goes on? I mean, I don't really tone it out. I'm just, you just I'm just creative. I'm it. creative in chaos. So creative like, yeah, in chaos. Yeah, I don't really. It's not. It doesn't really like affect me. It might fuel me. Like, oh, all right, for sure. And, all right, cool. Watch this. All right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just yeah, it's more my, more my tenacity about it. I'm, I'm I want it. I mean, it is the is the pinnacle of what I want to want want it is to be. So when we were kind of speaking on growth as well, man, do you see yourself now, Chris, mm -hmm. sitting here today, and you can look back in your rearview mirror and probably think that you weren't going to be either in certain places or or not that you surprise yourself, like even with 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 drake at one point you and drake it was like oh okay you know y'all grown men mm -hmm. and everybody doesn't get along mm -hmm. Did you, and then y'all come together mm -hmm. you, th that right there to, you know to anyone that's growth yeah because you had not seen that at one point then when you look in your rearview mirror you're like oh damn hell yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah it, at one point i was like hell not nah. right but like you said I, I grew up a lot and you know what i'm saying and like I ain't got, I ain't got no grudges against nobody. I ain't trying to walk around mad or or, or making making the the good the evil part of me shine. Like I don't right. want to do that. Like I'd rather just bury that. I don't don't wake him up. How how long does this reign you feel before you kind of hand it back over to somebody else? Um, shit. I mean, I don't know who 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 to hand it to. Yeah. You know, but I, at the end of the day, I got it right now. As far as in my music, mm -hmm. so I just feel like you know the album. What I'm doing now is just like the beginning. So I hope everybody like vibes with this album. It's gonna be dope. Why do you continue to make the visuals look the way that they do as well? I think I'm just a creative. Yeah. I think I think I just I think your presentation, like you only get one good first impression. So I feel like when I do videos and, and direct, I'm pro I'm trying to be hands on because mm -hmm. I feel like I know how to uh, uh navigate yeah. th through the through the narrative and show people like something creative on each side. So I think that'll be dope. Hey, Chris, you've been in the business long enough where it was like, okay, Rolling Stones could write something. Yeah. You know, the source we wanted, you know, five mics from the source, whatever it is. Billboard could write something. Yeah. Now everybody's a critic. Mm -hmm. You know, you get this device in your hand and it becomes something where everybody is kind of like this, can yeah. say something. Hell yeah. How do you do that with social media? Um. Well, for, for a minute, I, I had my comments off about two years. Man. Right. Yeah, hey, I took them off because I, I, I feel like it wasn't uh, – healthy for me to, to even go back and forth for any anybody's opinion because a lot of people out there in the world that's hurting a lot of people out there that's right going through stuff so hating on somebody or saying something negative might give them that little boost to feel better about themselves so it's, it's pointless for me to go back and forth with them but at the end of the day i kind of just like I, I turn my comments back on and just let it <laughs> let it and let it rock because i was like hey, you know what they can say what they want but still my show i'm still showing them on my on platform you feel me so that's what that's basically, I kind of just let it go. Like, hey, man, I want to come back with you. I want to do something called For Real, For Real. For sure, for, for false, sure. For false, for false. All righty, so mm -hmm. I'll ask you a question. If it's for real, just say it's for real. If it's false, let it be known. Y'all right. stick around. Y'all radios. Let's we got Chris it. Brown up in here, Big Boy's Neighborhood. He was trained in martial arts. For real, for real, for false, for false. Medium, medium. Really? Yeah, I did I did training when I was younger, from like 7 to like 12. What so. discipline? Taekwondo. Taekwondo. And then I did boxing. 18 to like 23 all righty so but uh, yeah so it was half and half i ain't it's no black belt over right tomorrow. he has songs uh as far as writing credits jennifer lopez mary j blige and others for real for real yeah why well, you had to think about it no nah, because it's just a lot of songs so yeah. <laughs> um i think yeah the mary j blige was one i did when 
for the LeBron movie, mm -hmm. and then Jennifer Lopez. I wrote like two on her album, on her the album before this one. All um, right, yeah. Chris Brown, he believes in UFOs. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Do you think you ever been abducted? Hell no. Nah. You think you ever seen anything that looked different? Mm -mm. Why do you believe? Because I'm an alien. Why? Because I'm an alien. Explain. I can't explain. Do you, now, do you feel like, and I don't mean, you know, sometimes people think alien with the eyes and mm -hmm. out of space and all that stuff, but you really feel like you're not of this planet. I don't know. No, I'm an alien. Extra well, you know what? Fuck it. I'm an alien, too. For sure. There it is. You know For what I'm sure. saying? Give me some of that alien work. Let's get it. All right. Do you, but, but you believe, because I, I say this, Chris. I say, how can we be here? Mm-hmm. And nobody else is here. What you mean? Like, how can we be on this, oh, on this planet? Oh, for sure. On this planet, and nothing else exists. Yeah, I second that. And you've never been abducted. Mm -mm. But you're an alien. Mm -hmm. Have you abducted anyone else? Mm -mm. Is there an alien game that you can spit to us? <laughs> is is there an alien language that you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Well, it's obvious you don't want to share any yeah, of that. Yeah, you feel me? I got it. You know. All righty. <laughs>